Hello, friends. John Henry Weston of LifeSite News here. Wanted to um, respond to the news that's been heard around about church militant Michael Voris being uh, let go by the board of the organization that uh, he himself founded. Um, such things are often very, very difficult. And um, I think it's it's no secret that uh, Michael Voris uh, uh, was not always most positive about LifeSite. Um, in these last few years, uh, there have been some issues that went along, but we have to remember who Michael Voris was. He was the man who evangelized so many people, bringing them to the church by his fidelity, by his way of expressing the truth of the faith in a vigorous, beautiful way that caused countless conversions. So when things happen that are very disturbing uh, like this, we can't, you know, pile on and and people would rejoice to see whatever. Let's not do that. Let's pray for our brother who is obviously suffering in in whatever way right now and uh, reach out to him in love. And uh, we can do that mostly by our prayers. Um, He's a man who has done a lot for our Lord and Satan pursues those who, um, you know, uh, get in his way of bringing people to Um, hell and away from our Lord. So please join me in praying for Michael Voris, for Church Militant, for Christine Niles, and all the people uh, who work there and worked there. Let's pray and let's not be taken in. There's going to be a lot of perhaps accusations and um, uh, there's going to be a lot of rejoicing by uh, the forces that would seek to use uh, Michael Voris's good work uh, to correct some of the wrongs of bishops and so on, to sort of paint all of that work from different entities, including LifeSite, uh, including, uh, you know, Taylor Marshall, Michael Matt, and others, with a kind of brush that says, look, look, let's not go there. Let's instead pray for a brother who we know is hurting. And um, we just need to be on guard for attacks and temptations that come to all of us. Let's pray, let's be ready. And uh, in this great time of persecution in the church, where the church is suffering like never before, while our diabolic disorientation is all around us, stick close to Jesus and Mary, his most holy mother, because anchored between the pillars of Our Lady and the most holy Eucharist is exactly the way to stay true to Christ and his one true church. May God bless you.